Gabriel Goodhart from Easy Feed Systems. I'm here installing a four part Easy Feed System in a Growbox 28 standing here behind us. Um, the advantage of using one of these type of systems is that it's all uh, enclosed, easy to use, and pre made. Same as the Easy Feed, it all comes pre built, water tested, and ready to use. And best of all, you don't need any reservoir. You just plug this system right into your water in, right to your drippers, and drain to waste. And you can do this in a very non-wasteful manner, conserve your fertilizer and conserve your energy while making your work hassle-free and easy to do. Alright, so the Easy Feed system is going to get mounted here on the back wall. We're going to have water in up here. That's going to be your fresh water in. That can either be filtered water, straight water out of the tap, or water pumped through our low pressure kit if you need to do RO water. Um, once the water comes in, it'll come in through our system here. We'll have a line of four separate injectors. Each injector injects one nutrient product into the Easy Feed system. So you'll simply dial that in nutrient in, as well as the following one after that. At the end of our system, we have our control panel. That system will enable you to be able to monitor your Easy Feed system's pressure, pH, parts per million, water temperature, and the time and rate at which you feed your plants. Once the water comes out here, it will be fed down to these two tables through drip emitters. Drip emitters are the best way to install your Easy Feed system. It allows you to use the least amount of fertilizer and the least amount of water, um, as well as getting a good dispersion of water to your plant without uh, having to have too much extra humidity in the room. The advantage of ebb and flow is that it's easy. The advantage of drip feed is that it's useful, clean, and economic. So the first box that we have in our system is the water input panel. This panel allows you to connect your water in and then also go to your first doser. What you got here is a water bib, or excuse me, a hose bib, so that you can input fresh, clean water out to your system. You have a check valve, a filter, and a pressure gauge, as well as the way in which you want to inject each fertilizer. So it gives you a clear explanation of whether you have four mils to 35 mils, what to twist this nipple to, to have the correct rate of injection. Um, every single box will come with the suction tube for the doser. This gets put down in your nutrient bucket. You don't want it touching the bottom, that way it picks up a bunch of sediment. If you can keep it one inch off the bottom, you'll have a much cleaner injection. Um, last of all, there's an instruction manual with all the information you need and some calibration solution for your pH and EC sensors. So next what you have is your expansion panel. For every additional fertilizer or additive that you want to input, you'll need one of these dosers. This can be set up in a series of eight dosers in a row all functioning. Uh, you could have up to ten if you bypass two of them. So for example, if you have a sugar product or a carb product that you don't want to use the whole cycle, but at certain times you want to turn it on and at other times you want to turn it off. You could add as many of those in a row as you want, up to ten, um, and you can have an infinite number of parallel series of ten. All right, lastly, we have the Easy Feed Control Panel. This is the brains of the operation. Um, what you have here is where your water comes in, and you have your sensors for your pH and EC. Um, you can also check parts per million and temperature. This is great because as you're adjusting and feeding your pr uh, fertilizer, you can see in line automatically what your pH is. And if it's off, simply dial your doser so that you get it to the correct pH. And when you see it there, stop dialing. This is your timer. This allows you to control the watering times of the Easy Feed system using these solenoid valves. Everything's made with unions. So if you have any problems in any uh, areas, the things that need to be repaired or maintained, it's quick and simple to get them out, put in the new part, and keep you going. You'll never have a $3,000 piece of junk. You'll just have 10 minutes of work you got to do, put it back together, and you're ready to rock. So the siphon tubes that you connect to the dosers can simply be used to put the fertilizer directly underneath the doser, or you can run this tube up to 15 feet and be able to put the fertilizer far, far away from the room so it avoids the heat, the humidity, and the light. It makes these dosers better than any other injection system on the line and really makes it the most precise, accurate, and reliable system used for over 30 years by industries, uh, horticulture, dentistry, car wash. If you want a quick, clean injection that can deal with changes in pressure, as we all know, if our neighbor starts filling up their toilet next door, our pressure is going to change. Well, because there is no pump, no timer, nothing to say turn on now for 10 seconds, and that equals four milliliters. 
All this does is have a piston inside that works like a syringe. So as the pressure changes, the piston goes up and down slower. As the pressure speeds up and gets firmer or harder, you end up with a lot more up and down clicking and sucking up that whole time more nutrient. And because everything's unioned, it screws together. And when it's time that you'd like an additional doser, you can remove the unions, slide the panel open, and put an extra one of these in. Now yeah, you can see the Easy Feed system is fully installed. Uh, the control panel over here, after you get your water tested for pH and EC, uh, flows over here to your solenoids. These are your floodgates. Uh, the whole system is always pressurized. From the time the water enters the system till it comes up to right here, the water is inside the system. So when your timer says, let's feed this table over here, this solenoid will pop open and feed water over to this table. Now, depending upon the size of your garden, and the length of each of these runs, the pressure and the flow that you need on this line versus this line versus this line can be dramatically different. So on all of our products, we have a flow control valve right here at the top where you can twist each of these to a different flow. You'll be able to see the pressure of that right here on your pressure gauge. So you can always try to maintain 20 to 30 PSI working pressure. Uh, as you adjust all of these to feed your tables correctly. Now let's say you come in your room and it just passed its watering cycle uh, and you want to be able to just see how one line is working. Every valve has a white manual on, manual off. So at any time you can always turn on that line or turn off that line. In addition, if you want to do a full system test to make sure all lines are working correctly, simply open the timer, hold down the plus button, and it'll sequentially go through every single line of feeding um, to make it simple and easy for you to check the flow of your water.